Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you uh, again in this Spring Boot video tutorial. Uh, here we are going to discuss more detail about a Spring Boot CLI. CLI is also stands for command line interface. So here is the Chrome browser and let's try to search for a Spring Boot CLI tutorial and here you got the two links uh, which is provided by the spring official website let's click on the second link and here you'll get the all detail details about the uh, spring boot cli if you come down then you can see installing the spring boot cli cli is also stands for command line interface the spring boot cli is a command line tool that can be used if you want to quickly develop uh, with a spring boot application it allows us to run groovy scripts uh, which means that we have a familiar java like syntax without so much boilerplate code uh, we can also uh, bootstrap a new project or write your own command for it it is a Spring Boot software to run and test a Spring Boot application from command prompt. Uh, when we run a Spring Boot application using CLI, then it internally internally uses a Spring Boot starter and a Spring Boot auto conf configure components to resolve all the dependencies and execute the application. Uh, it internally contains Groovy and Grape to add a Spring Boot. Uh, defaults and resolves all dependencies automatically uh, now how to install uh, a spring boot cli so here if you can see in this spring official website uh, there are several ways to install the spring boot cli uh, so here either you can install manual installation you can download the zip file uh, and that is for the uh, Windows as well as uh, Linux as well. Uh, uh, once you uh, download this zip file and if you unzip then you'll get the txt installed. The txt they, are, they have instructed how to uh, make use of uh, how to install this uh, CLI on the Windows machine or uh, if you are working on the Linux then you need to download the tar file. Now another way to install the CLI uh, installation with uh, SDK man. Now similarly you have a OS X homebrew installation, uh, Mac ports in installation and command line completion. These are the way to install uh, uh, CLI. Right. So here basically what approach we are going to follow. So here we are going to follow manual installation because I found uh, these two this uh, this way we can uh, start working on any operating system right so you can install a spring boot cli software using windows installer g5 so here you will have to follow some steps so step one you can download the uh, is a spring boot cli distribution from the spring software repository uh, once you download this repository then only you need to click on this link and download will start i have already downloaded the size of this uh, zip is very small around 8 mb so this will be quickly downloaded so once uh, downloaded uh, you will have to unzip this one so once you unzip then you'll get file structure like this so we have a uh, you need to follow the uh, install.txt instructions from the unpack archive uh, in summary there is uh, a spring boot or a spring dot bat for windows if you go to bin directory then you have a spring dot bat for the windows in the bin directory in the uh, zip file or alternatively alternatively you can use java hyphen jar with the jar file right the scripts helps you to be sure that the class path is set correctly so first of all what i'll do i'll set the class path so uh, you will have to set the sorry path of CLI 
so there are two ways you can set the path one is the permanent permanently you can go to the environment variable and you can set path but here for demo purpose I'm going to set path we are going to uh, set the path on the command prompt itself so here if you set the path on the command prompt once you close the command prompt then uh, that will not be uh, available anymore so for demo purpose let's set path on the command prompt itself so temporary path setup so I have set the path now let's move to this directory itself so inside this inside the software so let's move inside this CD and here I have moved right now we have set a path for the SP boot CLI right now uh, if you extract or if you unzip this spring boot CLI then you can see the folder structure like this uh, and now we have set the so set the path right now second step you have to unzip and third step you need to set the path so we have completed all three steps now execute the you will have to execute some commands to verify whether installation process or you have set a correct path so how we can do that so some of the uh, a spring boot CLI commands you need to issue so here I'm going to write uh, a spring sorry a spring hyphen hyphen version and this will show you the version of a uh, spring boot CLI so this is showing correctly that means uh, we have set the path correctly now second command you can check uh, by writing a spring hyphen hyphen help and this will show you the many commands like uh, 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 saying that available commands are like run run a, a spring groovy script second is a test run a, a spring groovy script test grab jar if you want to run the var if you want to create a var file if you want to create a jar file if you want to install something right install dependency to the lib or extens uh, ext directory etc so i will request you to go and try for each and every i mean command but here we'll uh, use some of the few commands available over here okay now uh, spring boot CLI installation process is done successfully now we are going to uh, run a hello world restful web services using a spring boot CLI so here what I will do I will go to the this location uh, in this location and uh, let's go to the this location okay so I need to move on the F directory so now I am on this location here let's create a directory first of all so mkdir and I would give the directory name as app so here you can see uh, app directory or folder is created now let's create a uh, file right so I would say dir greater than app dot extension would be groovy G R double O V Y. So this file will be created. Sorry, I was supposed to create this file within the app. So let's go to the app within the app, and here let's create this file. So if you go to this here, then Groovy file has been created. And uh, what I'll do, I'm going to copy this guy. This, this RESTful web services we had created in our earlier video. So let's copy this RESTful web service over here. Open it. And here, let's paste it. And when you work with the Groovy, you don't need to really require this kind of package to be imported. So all imported import I have removed. And Groovy does not uh, uh, tell you to use the return keyword so this return keyword is i'm going to delete so this is the i mean one of the fast way to create a spring boot application and test using groovy now 
just I'm going to close it right so now groovy file we have created now how to run this groovy right so we have some commands to compile and run the application uh, you will have to type a spring make sure that you, you are pointing on the app folder a spring then run app dot groovy your file name and press enter now uh, groovy will uh, start uh, compiling and uh, that will download the all dependent dependency from the repository which is required to run this application say uh, saying that resolving dependencies and just wait now spring boot has started right and you can see the spring boot version uh, with the spring boot logo and uh, now you can see everything has started and that will your tomcat port 8080 right now uh, you had observed uh, if we uh, uh, if you would have resolved in app.groovy uh, file uh, you, ca you can find uh, following important points there was no imports no other xml configuration to define a spring mbc components like views view resolve etc there is no web.xml or no dispatcher de declaration no build a script to create our application or war file uh, no need to uh, build war file to deploy this application right now uh, our tomcat is up and running and that is running on the default port 8080 so let's go ahead and try to access this application by typing the url http colon slash slash localhost colon 8080 and if we press enter then we got the output right so that means our restful web service is up and running so so you have seen how uh, i mean we can run i mean application spring boot application using groovy so there are many more things which you can go to the i mean of uh, spring official website which i have shown you and if you are interested to if you are keen to learn uh, some more details about the uh, spring uh, boot cli then you can refer this website and they have given the everything is more details right uh, so basically uh, what you have observed uh, even we haven't written any main method right boot stepping class right unlike the equivalent java uh, application unlike the earlier video tutorial you do not need to include the public static void main method with your groovy script right so basically as a uh, uh, application a uh, 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 spring application is automatically created with your compiled code acting as a source so that's the advantage in summary uh, the spring boot cli takes the simplicity offered by the spring boot auto configuration and uh, starter dependencies and it turns it up uh, on the notch using the elegance of a spring uh, uh, elegance of the groovy language the cli makes it possible to develop a spring application with minimal code noise so that's all about the a spring boot cli so if you want to know about the uh, some more details about the spring boot cli then you can refer this of a spring official website so thanks for watching this video guys and see you next video tutorial